Welcome to Graceland in Memphis, Tennessee, and welcome to this special live stream event, Elvis Week 2014, and the first ever auction at Graceland. It's going to happen in moments. I am Argo from Elvis Radio on Sirius XM, joined by two very special people here at Graceland tonight. Director of Archives, Angie Marchese. Hi, Argo. Hello, Angie. Mm -hmm. This is, I think, the busiest. Uh, you've been busier than I've ever seen you before. I have been so busy. I mean, it started earlier this year, but this is a really exciting night, being able to have an auction here on the Graceland grounds for the first time. I mean, what a venue, you know, to be able to be in Elvis's backyard. It is history in the making. It really is a historic moment. And I think when we talk about the first ever auction at Graceland, something that we uh, echo again and again is these are not items from Graceland's collection. No, they're not, but they might be in Graceland's collection before the night's over. Now, see, I keep hearing about this, Ange. I keep hearing that you might have some people uh, bidding on behalf. Of I've, I've got my eye on a few pieces, so. But yes. you won't tell us which ones, right? I have my paddle and I'm ready. <laughs> Good, very good. <laughs> well, most of the items that we'll see in the auction tonight are from the collection of Greg Page, who is obviously a huge Elvis fan. How did it start with you and Elvis, Greg? Well, I, I loved his music, of course, but then when I came to Graceland for the first time, that really just did it for me. I, I found a, a real personal con connection to the story of Elvis and who he was off stage and off screen. And when I found that you could collect items that belonged to him, I just thought, wow, that's incredible. So I started collecting a couple of things. But then because I live in Australia, a lot of people in Australia can't get to come to Graceland and have that experience that I had. So I collected more and more. And I've set up a little exhibit back home in Australia where people can, can come and see Elvis his shirts and his jewelry and his possessions and have that same experience that I had here. When was the first time you visited Graceland? I think it was 1999. Yeah, so not all that long ago, really. Oh, well, that's a fair one. Oh, years. far out. Time passes by. Yeah, we're all getting older and greyer. Of course, Greg, you're a founding member of the, the Wiggles. The Wiggles, yeah. So we were a children's entertainment group for, well, they're still going, but I, I retired a few years back now. But, yeah, that was a lot of fun, travelling all over the world, and that's why I got to come to Graceland, because we were here doing shows. Now, Angie, I'm sure that you have known who Greg is for a while as a collector and having yes. some of the items that he has. Yes, I've been aware of Greg's collection for quite a while, and he has some really amazing pieces. And he's just been gracious enough to be able to share them with us um, and with this auction that we're going to have in just moments. And for the first time ever having the auction here at Graceland, it brings up the brand new entity that is Graceland Authenticated. Yes, Graceland Authenticated actually um, got kickstarted with this auction, and it is a new program that we now have in place where we are going to actually use our collection to authenticate Elvis pieces that are out there in the world. Thank you, Vernon Presley, right? Yes, thanks to Vernon. He saved everything. I actually just gave Greg a quick tour of the archives before we came here, and Greg is proof that, yes, Vernon did save every document you could possibly imagine. Now, Greg, as a collector, I, I've got to think that you, this is very neat that you can now authenticate officially here with Grace. Oh, that's right. It's a fantastic service that they can provide now because to have that stamp to say something is authentic, it will absolutely help any collector out there put their mind at ease. No suspicious minds out there anymore. <laughs> if it's got the stamp, you can be uh, proud and, and know that it comes from Grayson and it's got their stamp. And yeah, it's just, it's a godsend. Now, Greg, one of the questions you probably get asked a lot, and you have a large collection, so I think people probably were going to wonder, why do you put these items up for auction? And I heard, I think maybe Angie told us, so you could get more. <laughs> <laughs> you never know. But um, yeah, I do have a large collection. But look, I'm always in the, in the market looking at things, but to, to work with Grayson on this has just been a real honor and, and a privilege to be asked to do it. So it was an opportunity that I wanted to take. So I, I gave Angie a list of items of what I had, and she looked at it and came back and said, look, I think these items will go really well. And that's really the story of how this, these items are here. Let's take a look at some of the items that will be auctioned in moments here. The first ever auction at Graceland. All right, let's take a look. So we've got this, actually, I gotta tell you, these are probably the coolest pieces that we have in the auction. I, everything's cool, but to have um, original jewelry and as well as the script to Love Me Tender and the script that's dated from 53. That's what I love about this. It's, it's, isn't it amazing? I mean, that script has sat around for three years just waiting 
for the right person to come along. And then you see we're at the top where it says, please forward to Elvis Presley. And the other day when we received it from Greg, he actually had acquired it from the Dick Cart collection through another auction. And so it was actually wrapped in plastic and he had never unwrapped it. And so when we got it here, I actually took it out of its plastic covering and he actually got to see inside of it for the first time the other day. I love that. A, a typical collector, you didn't want to open it. You didn't want to mess with it, man. Don't mess with it. I don't want to risk anything. <laughs> yes, is... and then leave it to me, the archivist, to go digging for it. Did Elvis write in this? <laughs> Let me see what's in here. Did he? No, there's no writing inside of it, but it's still really cool. Well, and we know that he memorized all the blinds. Yeah, that's probably my favorite part of the story, is to know that Elvis received this script and was so eager to make such a great impression on his co-stars that he memorized the entire thing. I mean, that's just, you know, tells you what kind of mindset and what kind of guy he really was. Now, right next to this is a... Uh, the King's I would say, Bling. Yeah, I would hey. say this is one of my favorite pieces here. Tonight. Yes, that lion's head pendant. Um, I mean, it is so amazing. And if it wasn't for this opportunity to have this auction and this process that we've started, I mean, I would never, as an archivist here at Graceland, have ever seen some of these pieces, including I've seen photos of the lion head. We have the receipt for the lion head pendant, but to actually be able to hold it and and to photo match it and to actually go, hey, this is the real one. This was in the Oval Office. I mean, wow, it is such, such a good piece. And I think that's a neat, I think fans uh, recognize the piece because we've seen it in photos so many times. And back to Graceland Authenticated, you just said you have the receipt for it. We have the receipt for it. Um, the process where we go for Graceland Authenticated, it's not going to be just us looking at photos or things like that. We're actually digging through the archives to find the paperwork, to find the evidence, I guess you could say, and the proof that these are the real pieces. Well, and if you're a collector, it also provides the story. Yes, yes. I mean, that's the amazing thing about our archives is that our archives helps these pieces tell stories. I mean, we know of the lion's head pendant, but now we've got the pendant and I have a receipt for it and we've got the photos. I mean, it really it puts you, it's not as close as you're going to be to the old office with Nixon, really. I mean, <laughs> I, you know, so it really puts you back in that place in time, you know, kind of like the library card. That's probably one of my favorite pieces. That's another one that's in, in the auction tonight. Tell yes. us about that. That's actually the first lot. That's going to go on the oh, block. Wow. Yes, in just a few minutes. And that one is probably one of my personal favorites because it really puts you back in that place in time. I mean, who was not in school and had to check out a book? Right. And then had to do a book report on it. And so you sit there and you look at this and you see Elvis's name and you're like, wow, he did the same thing we did. He was just a kid in school in seventh grade doing a book report for class and had to read this book, probably dreaded reading it. I mean, I know I would have in seventh grade, you know, but still it's just, it just puts you right back. It's like, wow, he was just like everybody else. Is this the first uh, known signature of, of Elvis that's out there? It's one of the earliest okay. known. There, I think that, well, we obviously have him scribbling his name in first grade on the crayon box. Well, right, right. So right, right. I like to say that's the first, yeah. even though it's just his first name, but yeah, so that's that is part of our collection. So it's one of the earliest, yes. Now, Greg, as a fan and, and having the collection you have, are these the kinds of things you think about when you got that library card originally? Were you thinking about where it was and the story behind it? Yeah, I, I guess so. It's, it, it's obviously a part of history and it's a real personal connection to that early time in Elvis's life before he was famous, before people knew who he was. But the part I love about the story is that once he did become famous, the librarian immediately recognised his name, went back through all the books that he borrowed and pulled the cards out and kept them. <laughs> so, I mean, it's just human nature, isn't it? You know, you recognise somebody as somebody that you've had that connection with, so she went through and grabbed whatever connection she could find, and that's that's history now. A lot of people are talking about the vehicle that's going to be auctioned off the later. Cadillac. Tonight. Yes. yes. Well, and I know it's not here. I mean, where do you put the Cadillac? In, in? the car museum. That's where else do you put sure, it? Sure, you okay. know, with all the Elvis's other Cadillacs. Right. Yes. The special thing about that one, it is the last Cadillac he purchased. You know, okay. and Elvis was known for Cadillacs. The first car he bought was a Cadillac. The last Cadillac he purchased is about to hit the auction blocks tonight. And yeah. It's a Seville? Kind of it's guy. a Seville. It's a 77 Seville. It's maroon and gray, all leather interior, including CB radio. Ah, yes. CB radio. Hey, yeah, you got to keep in touch. I wonder what his handle was. Oh, gosh. Can uh, you imagine? Uh, hmm. Uh, Let's uh, think uh, of what right. a good handle for Elvis but it would have been. Hmm. A, a handful of other items. Uh, what, what other items oh. will be going up tonight for the auction? Oh, that, my that, gosh. Everything from the Martin 
guitar. That's what I was just eyeing over here behind you. Yes. I mean, and we all know the whole history with Elvis and guitars. He started out early on with Martins in the 50s, went to Gibson and then the Fenders, and then by the end he was back with Martins again. But this one is special because it shows Elvis's generosity because this guitar was actually gifted to Elvis's bodyguard, Sam Thompson, here at Graceland in January of 1977. So it really shows that, you know, does Sam know how to play the guitar? I don't think so, but, <laughs> but you know, Elvis was that type of guy. Sam probably was eyeing it and Elvis was like, would you like it? And it's yours, you know. And then the shirts, you know, are amazing. Uh, this is great, this telephone book. That's what I was just looking at, the telephone yeah. director. Uh, 1953, so the, Elvis is still in high school at the time. Oh, wow. Yeah, and you can see where it says Vernon Presley and it's their address on Winchester and their phone number. <laughs> Oh, and they also, there's also the uh, recording services. There. Yes, the Memphis, yeah. yeah, Sun Studios. Yeah, so again, we have so many amazing pieces of history here that really are just, I mean, each of these pieces just tell a story. It's just great. So there will be people, and there are people who are getting ready to bid who will be here at Graceland tonight and also online, right? All yes, the auction is not only available here in person, but it is happening online, liveauctioneers.com, auction at Graceland. They've actually, the auction went live on August the 1st, so we've got lots of activity going on so far, lots of good responses to the auction, and we're going to actually hit the blocks running tonight and sell everything. So you're gonna be able to watch it here on the live stream as well as be able to participate online if you're not here. And oh gosh, it's just, it's exciting. It's gotta be exciting for you too, Greg. The first ever auction here at Graceland to be a part of it. I'm sure, you know, these things have been close to you and now yeah. you're gonna see. Yeah, look, it, they are. They are items that I've loved, especially things like the lion head pendant or the blueprints from Graceland, you know, I think they're amazing. So, but I think it is time to let other people enjoy them now as long as people People look after them, preserve history and preserve the legacy, and that's the main thing. It's going to be an exciting night here at Graceland. The first ever auction at Graceland begins in moments here, and we thank you for joining us for this special live stream event, Elvis Week 2014. We are on the grounds of Graceland. Once again, I am Argo from Elvis Radio on Sirius XM. Thanks for joining us.